who have been promoted. This is one of the many ceremonies that depict what years of hard work, constant learning, improving and commitment lead to. I'm sure for everyone seated here, this moment didn't come easily. First, I want to thank the families and friends of those promoted for playing a crucial role in supporting the officers as they move forward in this great institution. <laughs> Family members often inspire, stand by, and sometimes console us. So I want to thank them for their unconditional support, without which we will not be here today. Similarly, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all servicemen and women, past and present, who have contributed to the development of the police. The Uganda Police Force Management is planning for yet another round of promotions for other deserving officers that were not able to benefit from this particular list. <laughs> to those who are promoted, I offer you my sincere congratulations on your new ranks and the institution assumes that you are ready and able to take on the responsibilities commensurate with those respective rights. A task of particular importance for those promoted will be ensuring that you are not defined by the new ranks and formal leadership positions alone, but by demonstrated leadership in thinking, in word, and in deed and in your convictions to do the right thing for our population. As senior officers, the junior officers will also look to you for leadership. I say to all of us, let's aspire to this leadership position out of a deep sense of duty and humility. As the police management, we are consistent in our call for highly trained and professional officers who exhibit courage with compassion, care, and the exceptional understanding of the population we serve. This demands, this demands constant work that involves the following. One, 